Hey, Scorps, how are you going? This is your March reading. Now, this month I'm doing something a bit special. The first 10 subscribers to email me will get a free reading of your choice. It can be about anything, uh, any question, any subject, any situation. So that is my gift to you because you're all pretty gorgeous and I just wanted to thank you. If you are returning to the channel, hi, thanks. I'm very grateful. I'm really, truly grateful that you choose to spend your time with me. But that's a big thing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome in. Everybody is lovely here. So you're most welcome. If you get something from this, which I hope you do, that is my intention, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Right. Your symbol for the month is little luxuries. <sighs> Generate luxurious surroundings and experiences. Uh, quite funny to me because the number's 28 and I know a Scorpio whose birthday is 28 so I must make sure they see these little luxuries I like that and it's very nice for you guys very very nice all right Let's see what little luxuries we can get for you. New season. Coming into spring in the Northern Hemisphere. My favourite, favourite season. And autumn or fall in the Southern Hemisphere. Which is very pretty. You know when you're a kid and you do things like roll down hills and swing from trees and stuff like that. One of my favourite things to do was pile leaves up and then dive into them. And if we used to walk through a park, I used to love kicking my feet underneath and watching them fly everywhere and the noise it made. Little things, little things. Make a big difference. Tiny luck trees. There you go. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have radio toxic, toxic environment, emotional vampires. Ew, let's get rid of those. They are the luxuries. That will clear up their environment. You have put a spell on you, calm, seduction, being won over. Oh, who's winning you over and is it good? This is what we want to know. Hindsight. 2020. Lessons learned, realization, and discernment. So, the good thing is, if this is not for your highest good, you will recognize it. And if it is, you will recognize it. But first, we need to make sure that this isn't in your environment. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, shall we? Sorry, small cramp. They come to play occasionally. Jump in and say, hi, remember me? It's life without a little surprise every now and then, I say. Scorpio, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Five of Cups. What are you missing? What are you grieving?
I get the feeling that you're regretting the amount of time spent on things that have just gone down the gurgle up, down the drain. Let's have a look. Um, as usual, my loves, I will lay these out and then we will get the story going. Rebirth. Death. Rebirth. The hanged man. The moon. We've got some fairly big energies going on here, my love. First three out of the gate are major arcana. So this is a big month for you. The high priestess. Another one. The chariot. These are all <laughs> major arcanas. My lovelies. King of Swords. Will, are you kidding me? Man, you guys, six of cups, four of pentacles, seven of pentacles, and the star. Holy dooly. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You've got four, six, seven out of twelve. Right, so let's just batten down the hatches, put our seatbelts on. This is going to be a ride, okay? <sighs> Recent past, something's spiraled way out of control and the speed of it is going faster and faster and faster and you feel like any second now you're going to go off a cliff so you're you just ready to jump and it's pretty scary Kind of the foundation is your intuition. So, you know, Scorpio is very deep, very deep, very, very deep. So, your intuition, you might not even recognize that a lot of what you do is based on intuition. But you also might ignore your intuition a lot of the time and you find yourself in positions like this. I get the feeling that this is so big now and so scary for you that you are finally going to listen to your intuition and that is going to be the death and rebirth. Now, this is your card, Scorpio. So, like I was saying, you, your intuition is always there and it's very, very good. It's, it's the star. It shines the light. It lights the way. It's, it's the hope. It's the wishes. But you are cloaking it in this flashy facade. Red is the colour of flash and being seen and fire and passion and strength it's a power color and the star isn't that at all the star is quiet and beautiful and soft and it doesn't shine for any recognition it just it just gives people hope so are you going to listen to your intuition or are you going to fly off a cliff? You're kind of starting to listen and you're starting to ask for a bit of wisdom, get a bit of wisdom going, see things from a bigger picture. Um, 
ask yourself the hard questions. You are really starting to see what you need to cut out and that is keeping you almost it's, it's almost like this has come along and gone gone over the cliff and you are now suspended by a rope or a tree or something um, and for the first time you're seeing things from a different point of view you're actually recognizing and seeing how you got there in the first place how your choices your ideas your beliefs your thoughts your actions led to this and it's kind of like right you just hang there and think about how you got here it's kind of the universe's way of saying stop now just stop you can you can take some time out and just think about all the things you didn't, didn't think about before the obstacle for you is the moon and that is the things unseen things not recognized now this will be a challenge for you because you've spent a lot of time a lot of time in a toxic environment with i'd say people who who taught you, who did put a spell on you, possibly a family. They did put a spell over you for you to end up living in this fast, flashy um, embodiment. And the real you has sunk deeper and deeper and deeper underneath the surface. And, and it might be a real challenge for you to go. And if you look at this, this suspense, she's reaching down into the water. And it's almost like, here, sw swim up to this. I've seen it. I've seen the light. I've seen what I've been missing. Quick, come up and, and see it with me. So it's almost like, logically, you are seeing this now for the first time. And it's almost like your conscious is reaching down for your subconscious because that's where all the programming is. That's where all the beliefs and, and core identity has been created in the subconscious. Your, your conscious can learn things. It can read a book. It can, you know, go to counselling and stuff. But until your core centre subconscious has relearned the stuff that was incorrect in, until the program has been updated and upgraded, sometimes even removed and replaced, um, then this is still going to drag you down. So your conscious is almost saying, right, I've worked this out now, now I'm going to get into my subconscious and pull out what I need to pull out. Awesome, by the way, that takes some magic guts. And that's when the wheel will turn. That's when all the things that have been unhealthy or holding you back or keeping you in suspended animation, it will it will finally turn and you will come up for breath and you will see a whole new cycle out there for you it'll be like see how this is really interesting see how in the five of cups it's going down the drain like this spiral going down the drain but in this one the spiral is coming up and up and up and up and up it's it's the opposite and it's a real it, it's an open energy to acceptance of what's next yes i what's next what's next um show show me more show me more what else have i been missing show me more show me more 
You're ready to go back. Coming up, you're going to be, you're going to realize when you start going into your subconscious, you're ready to do this. You're going to go back and see where all this came from. Where did this come, where did this come from, from way back then? And how can I heal it? And how can I use it so that I don't just see the bad? I, I work out how to be loving and compassionate without any expectation in return, but I also see my own worth. And, and I've worked out, I've worked out exactly what I need from now on. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Be careful that you don't, this is a challenge for you. There's no two ways about it. This is going to be hard for you because you have been taught from a very young age and really, really um, bamboozled, really like cloaked in bullshit. So it's going to be hard for you to decloak that and let go of what you've been carrying and hoarding all this time. That's the be careful one. Your hopes and fears is that the fear of that is, is that it's going to take a bloody long time and I don't want to take that long time because it's too hard. You know, quick, easy, instant gratification. I read the book, why aren't I fixed? You know, I took a pill, why aren't I healed? Just one, and it, yeah, you know, why has it not worked? No, 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 your fear is that this is going to take time and effort and growth and nurturing and development at a healthy rate so that the reward is healthy and received right at the right time. Your hope is that you can do it. The hope is that you you can do it this time. You can stick with it this time. You can dig down deep enough to get to the the um, the good stuff underneath, and then grow from the good stuff, not from the the old crusty hard rock of crap that you can't grow anything in. Dig through that, and then get to the good soil so that you can grow something beautiful. And you can. Of course you can. And trust me when I say it's so worth it. Here's your healing. Here's your healing. Hang on to the hope. Hang on to the star. Hang on to the dream of of being free and never getting into this terrifying free fall down a, down a cliff. It's just because this energy, this fast-paced, everything has to be um, exciting and thrilling and moving and no sitting still. There's no sitting still up until now because if you sat still too long, you might... Um, you might realise a few things that you don't quite want to hear yet. Yet. But this, this is worth it. Absolutely worth it. There is no question in my mind that this is a big call for you. This is a moment for you. This is a choice, massive choice for you right now this month. This month is your jump off a cliff moment. Fly. You heard that? I'm sure you've heard that. 
I'll finish with this because it's pretty gorgeous. Come to the edge, he said. No, I'm too scared. Come to the edge, he said. I don't want to, it's too scary. Come to the edge. And the boy walked to the edge and pushed him, but he flew. You've got the wings. You've always had the wings. You'll fly. Just believe in your own wings, my loves. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.